up and turn into the most stunted version of myself. I don't know why, but it always gives me mild anxiety. Uh, so today we're gonna try to learn to let loose and be more authentic and normal and not so like, I don't know, like I've gotta stick up my butt. <laughs> So I've already done the preliminary skincare. If you're curious about what I use, I'll link it down in the description box below. Uh, Aunt Flo has come to visit, so my face is breaking out a little bit and has been a little worse for wear, but that's fine. I didn't ask to become a woman or anything, but whatever. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna use to cover my face is the 3CE Style Nanda Fitting Cushion Foundation in 002. When I was in Korea, I stayed in the Akujongdong area because that's um, actually around the area where I grew up. It was really cool to go back uh, to Korea and see how the city has changed even within the past five years. The entire city is super duper connected. There are a lot of tourists, surprisingly. There was an incredible amount of people just coming in in tour buses and exploring Korea, which was really cool. Um, I remember there was a time growing up when being Asian was not nearly as fun or as interesting as it seems now, but seeing Korea from a Korean American standpoint and rather than like a Korean Korean standpoint because my cousins and I have very different perspectives my cousins and I have very different perspectives of the country um, despite the fact that you know we we're raised pretty similarly the high-speed rails are incredible and amazing and I've been absolutely spoiled by public transportation and the fact that the freaking subway station only costs um, like Ichonan to go from Apgujong to Hongdae, like that, that freaking blew my mind because every single time I go to Berkeley or to San Francisco, uh, I feel like I'm being mega ripped off because it's six dollars one way. Like, that's a theft in broad daylight, okay? And parking is super cheap in Korea as well. I think it's about a dollar for all day parking and valet. Um, in the area that I stayed at and I remember my dad was telling me while we were there uh, when he was growing up It used to be everything just used to be a lot cheaper including parking and transportation when he was in university It costed a big one to go From like where he lived in Seoul to his university and it's like what? <sighs> Instead I'm paying uh, an extortionate price courtesy of gas lobbying um, and petroleum lobby lobbying. Thanks, America. Um, I'm gonna slap on the Blissful Rose Cheek and Lip Tint from And Other Stories. I've been really loving this product. Uh, I picked it up while I was in Korea again. Everything that I'm using is all like Korean beauty products holding a brow product. Um, but it's so natural and sheer. I think I almost prefer it to the Glossier Cloud Paint TBH. And y'all know how much I freaking love that one. I like the glossy, balmy texture, and I like how it's in a compact formula so I can bring it around with me. And I don't feel like it applies nearly as heavy as Glossier's Cloud Paints do, because every single time I use a Cloud Paint, I squirt some on the back of my hand and then I apply it on my cheeks and I look like it's the 80s with the stripe blush because even a tiny bit goes way too, way, way too far. I'm going to pat some of this blush across the bridge of my nose just so the blush looks slightly more natural. Am I even like really putting any on? No, not really. Can you tell? Probably not. Oh wait, maybe you can. Yeah, I'm kind of chaotic, so I like to do my lips before I do my eyes. This is the colorful tattoo tint from Etude House and hashtag naughty hipster. Oh, Korea. I don't think that I would ever 
live there per se just because i don't know something about the depressing smog and soviet era architecture just doesn't do it for me i'm sorry as beautiful as the city is it's just not for me so after i've done like the the lining part of my lips i'm gonna take the edge of like one of my fingers and blur the edge out that looks sufficiently blurred now that we're slightly too zoomed into my face for comfort we're gonna do the eyes I'm using the Holika Holika milky shadow palette in 02 milk caramel and using the world's dirtiest brushes that I probably haven't washed in a few months which is pretty freaking gross to admit um, hopefully I don't get like bubonic ass plague <laughs> first thing I'm gonna do is take the what color is that nude-ish shade and like just stick it all over my eyelids just to even out the tone and the color and i find that this is like slightly darker than my actual skin tone so it adds the tiniest bit of shading then i'm going to take the slightly darker more chestnutty color and concentrate that on the outer I guess third of my eyelid I definitely do want to go back um, just to well a partially eat and B see my family again although I will say that for some reason my stomach just had a really bad time maybe it was the water Maybe it's because I'm weak and can't handle the, I guess the rigors of street food. Um, I ate my favorite, favorite food ever. So there's this thing called kanjang gejang, which uh, sounds kind of scary when it, if like you're not used to eating raw seafood, but it's like a raw crab that's been marinated in soy sauce and it's so good. That plus hot rice, I could literally just eat that all day. Um, and I have a feeling that that crab gave me the shits. <laughs> Is that disgusting? Um, probably. And then I'm gonna take the angled side of this brush and then the darkest shade and add like a false, soft, winged out portion to my eye. Uh, but yeah, I got like the mad shits for the three weeks, four weeks I was there which was pretty tragic. I mean, like I still ate food because uh, I can rest when I'm dead, but I learned that South Korea, for some freaking reason, doesn't have any form of Pepto-Bismol. Um, I went to four different pharmacies and asked them like, hey, do you have Pepto-Bismol? They did not understand. And although it seems like I can speak Korean, I honestly really can't. When it comes to anything beyond please feed me and where is this located, I uh, cannot ask. So I had to take my cousin with me and then, so she didn't know what Pepto-Bismol is either because again the country just doesn't have it. So we had to Google translate the active ingredient of what Pepto-Bismol was and then we went to the pharmacist. And so we like showed him the active ingredient and I'm like asking him my broken ass Korean and as I'm trying not to like poop myself and be like, hey, um, excuse me, sir, do you have this available in this country? And then he turns to my cousin and goes, why does she speak so poorly? Like, is she, uh, is she from here? Is she even Korean? And mm, I was mildly, offended but mostly just desperate to get my hands on something remotely resembling Pepto. So... But yeah, if you're gonna go to Korea and try the probably unregulated street food, I highly recommend bringing your own bottle of Pepto, whether it's in liquid or pill form. Because if not, you're going to be trapped trying to explain to some pharmacist what Pepto-Bismol is. 
and then you're gonna have a bad time god that was exhausting my arm is must be ridiculously weak because every single time i have to bring the brush up to my eye my bicep is like hell okay i'm gonna do the other eye now and hope that it matches But yeah, I'm still like totally shocked and floored that Korea doesn't have freaking Pepto-Bismol. Like what is wrong with a... Uh... What is wrong with that country that they don't have Pepto? Does everyone just have the world's strongest stomach? I mean, probably, right? It's all those fermented foods. I'm gonna try to fix this wing and make it slightly longer so it matches the other side. Okay, Ooh, wow, for the first time in my life, the wings actually match. Uh, go team. I'm gonna take the rest, whatever's left over on this brush and line it on the bottom of my lash line. But yeah, um, I guess that was a story time. I got roasted by the Korean pharmacist as I was trying not to boot myself uh, because the country doesn't carry Pepto-Bismol. Cool, and then I'm gonna go back into that caramelly neutral mid shade smile and you see like the fleshy part under your eye i'm gonna outline that because this isn't smiling it's more squinting right oh god i have like the most forced fake smile every single time someone asks me to smile like for photos it looks absolutely atrocious i'm going to take the shimmery shade and stick that in that same portion. Gonna make sure that the blending side is clean, blend out any corners. Oh yeah, shoot, I totally forgot to do my brows. I'm gonna use glossy boy brow and black. I don't think that there's anything really in here anymore. And I have another one, I just can't, I don't know, I don't want to open it because it's all new and pristine. And I feel like opening a new makeup product is like an occasion, you know? Got some fat brows. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes and slap on some mascara. This is the Muji Eyelash Curler. And if you have a problem with um, eyelash curlers pinching the corners of your eyes. I mega recommend this one. This one was recommended to me by my lovely friend Ariel And I don't know if you can actually get the Muji eyelash curler in the United States um, But it doesn't have any like corner pieces. Can you see this? Come on focus. Yeah, it doesn't have any corner pieces Which is pretty fantastic. So you can just like, go in and um, I guess curl your lashes. I don't know what else would you do with this. I haven't curled my lashes in probably like since middle school when I first started wearing makeup because I haven't been able to find an eyelash curler that suits my eyelashes until now. I feel like I'm doing the thing where it just like pinches at the root and just goes up at a 90 degree angle so my eyelashes look like, like an L. Like if this is my eyeball, it's like crimped here and just up, which looks pretty ratchet, I'm not gonna lie. So if you have any tips and tricks on how to curl your lashes because your girl never made it past, I don't know, seventh grade, please let me know. I'm gonna use the Heimish mascara that I love so dearly and for some stupid ass reason, I didn't pick any extra up um, while I was in its country of origin. God, all three of them look so phenomenal. Every single time I pull my hair back, ugh, I feel like I look like I have a horse face because my face is so like angular and round, but. I guess there's really nothing else I can do with my hair. Middle part, is that cool again? Nope, definitely not. But yep, this is this is my current everyday go-to face. It's very K-beauty inspired. And ooh, did you see how I almost tried to put my glasses up that aren't there? Uh, in honor of the very Korean inspired makeup, I decided to slap on a very Korean inspired outfit. <laughs>